Hi, welcome back. In this video, let's see how to make pepper rasam in an instant pot. This pepper rasam is also called kalyana rasam and is often made during weddings in Tamil Nadu. Let's look at the IP settings. Turn on saute mode and wait for the inner pot to heat up. Once the pot is hot, add around 2 tablespoons of oil and wait for a minute for the oil to heat up. After a minute, add 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds and 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds. Add few curry leaves. Add 2 dried red chilli. Add around 2 tomatoes finely chopped. And let this cook for a while. I want the tomatoes to be mushy. Add around 1 teaspoon of turmeric. Add around 1 teaspoon of hing. Keep sorting till the tomatoes are soft. I have cooked this for around 2 minutes and now the tomatoes are soft. I am going to add half cup of tuar dal. Give it a quick stir. Uh, I have took a fistful of tamarind and soaked it in water for around 15 minutes. Now I am going to add this uh, tamarind extract. I have added around 2 cups of tamarind water. So now I'm going to add another cup of water and I'll close the lid and turn off saute mode and turn on pressure cook or manual and set it to 10 minutes. I'm setting it to 10 minutes because I didn't pre-soak the dal so 10 minutes should be good. Now I'm going to make sure the whistle is in sealing mode. I have let the pressure release naturally for 15 minutes. Now I'm going to do a quick release. Now open the lid. Dal is um, cooked well. Dal is already very soft. This is not needed, but I like the dal to be very, very mushy. So I'm going to mash the dal. You can also use potato masher. I've mashed up the dal. Now I'm going to turn on saute mode and let this saute for around five minutes. And at this point, add crushed garlic and crushed pepper powder. I took around uh, 10 to 15 uh, pepper and crushed it. Oh. Add salt to taste. Now I'm going to let this simmer for around 10 minutes. And add some coriander leaves later. Once you see the froth coming up, that's when you add almost one full bunch of cilantro leaves, including the stems, and let this boil in the rasam for around another five minutes. And this will add a good taste to your rasam. 
uh, I have let it simmer for around 5 minutes now. I'm going to turn it off at this point. And this is ready to be served. 